Well, as you can see, there's a lot of activity with this, especially with this lovely weather we've had. So these bees are working about 12 hour days. I see them about eight o'clock in the morning and they're still buzzing around about eight o'clock in the evening. So they're making the most of the weather. And I've got at least, as I said, at least 10 females. So they're gonna soon use up most of these holes in here. So I'm gonna to have to make some more bricks for them to use. So I'll show you how to do that now. We'll go, just go around to my brick making area around the side of the house and we'll go and do that. Okay, so to make a brick, um, it's quite simple really. Uh, what you're doing is actually just making cob. Uh, so what I use, you can either use some, if you've got some clay-based soil, I started making them with some very rich red clay soil from Exeter, but I've moved on now to using cricket pitch loam, which you can buy in sacks. Um, it's just the right sort of stuff. It's got a high clay content and it's perfect for making cob bricks. So I just get a, a bucket full here or a little old washing up bowl full of this loam. And then I just add a little bit of sand and some straw as well. So the straw is for binding the clay together. So put some straw in there, mix it all up. And then it's a bit of messy, but it's good fun. It's basically, it's a bit like making pastry actually. You don't want too much water, otherwise it will go too sloppy. Um, mix it up with your hands, just need a touch more water, oops, <laughs> a little bit more. And when it's all thoroughly mixed in, mix it with your hands like this. All you've got to do then is just make it into a brick shape. So I've got a little mould here, like that. And I've got some little bits of wood, which I just use like that. And that's your brick. It needs to be about the bees, as I said, the bees don't go very far into the brick. Um, so it needs to be about sort of six or seven centimeters deep, maybe up to about 10. Do that. And then just basically leave that to dry in the sun. Um, what I do need is my one bit of a kit, which I haven't got at the minute. Oh, this will do. Is uh, something to make a hole. I also make the holes in the brick when it's still damp and they need to be probably just under a centimetre wide, but it doesn't really matter that much, as long as they're not too big. And just make a few holes across the surface like this. And there are other bees, like leaf cutter bees and things, which may use this later in the year. So if some of the holes aren't used, then other bees may use them. So there we go. And that's it. Um, and really, I just leave that to dry in the sun. Um, it takes a little while to dry and it's best not to try and dry it too quickly. So just leave it somewhere in the sun. It will dry out slowly and it shouldn't crack. And in this weather, actually within a week or so, it's ready to use. Now the Bee Wild team are actually going to put some kits together. So if you live in Butfersley and you like to make a cob brick, uh, have a look at the details shown on the screen below and you'll be able to pick up your kit and make some bricks and then set them up. Uh, we'll show you how to set them up in a minute, um, but they'll be ready to collect. Now the important thing to have with your bricks is to keep them dry. So what I've made is I've just got an old vivarium or any old box will do like this. Um, and I put the bricks in out of the rain. So I've covered it all in roof felt, keeps it nice and warm. And then the bricks are settled in there. And then even in the winter, they don't get wet. They're, they're sheltered from the rain and they keep the bees nice and dry and warm in there right throughout the year. 